First of all, you'll notice I'm using a thumb pick instead of a uh, just using my thumb. Now there's a couple different types of thumb picks. I've got, this is a national pick here. Um, and then you, I've also got a Fred Kelly pick, Fred Kelly speed pick, which has a little bit of a, uh, more of a pointed end to it. And I prefer either one of those. Sometimes you can even take, I'll even take one of these big nationals and I'll file it down to where I have just the point that I want. So you put it over your thumb. And now, and what that allows you to do is bring your wrist a little bit further, farther back. Remember when I was in the classical session, I said, don't bring your wrist back. Well, now, for the Merle Travis technique, you need to have that wrist back because we're going to be playing bass lines, and we're going to be muting down here with the fleshy part of our hand. I'm going to put that right on top of my bridge to where I can get a, a muted sound. And I'm usually dancing back and forth between the root and the fifth of any sort of uh, progression I'm working on or some other, as I could do a walking bass line, but generally for this style, I, I generally do a, a root and a fifth. So that's an alternating bass technique. Now to get started in this technique, we need to first start with the alternating bass line, which is gonna take a lot of control to get down. So take a look in the printed materials for the Merle Travis technique exercises. And these exercises are going to build up to eventually a complex Merle Travis pattern. Look at that first one. This is Merle Travis exercise number one. We're just gonna get that bass line down. We're going from a C chord, there's the bass line. We have an A7, and then we're going to jump in back and forth between the A and the E. Then the D7, four string chord, jumping back between the D and the A, and then a G. Now I can't go low for the fifth, so I've got to go high, so we're going to go from a G to the upper D. And what I want to do is try and mute down with my fleshy part of my hand get that bass line happening. Here's the A7. There's the D7. And there's the G. Almost like a tuba would be in a Dixieland band. Alright, so that's simple enough. Let's go to the next one. This is exercise...